The room's filling up a little slower than usual. It is Friday, June 5th. It is 1131, uh, but I think we're going to get started here on Library Live. Regardless of what that screen says, it is Friday, June 5th. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for being here today. Um, happy to be with you on this penultimate Library Live. There's your vocabulary word of the day. Penultimate. Anybody know what that means? I'll find out in 20 seconds because of the 20 second delay. Penultimate means next to last. So you may think today is your last library live because it's Friday and there is no school next Friday. But remember, we have a special kindergarten through fifth grade library live on Wednesday, June 10th for the last day of school. Um, I know Mrs. Morris included that in her update that she sent to all families. I think today if she didn't send it out already. I know she is. Uh, so come back on the 10th because you know what guys i'm greedy i'm selfish i haven't had enough time with you yet i need some more come back on wednesday and we'll close out the school year all right let's get into our rules and expectations right into our schedule so we can get the ball rolling on library live today be kind to me with your comments be kind to the people in your home um be let's have some fun be patient with technology issues uh, remember, I can't answer all comments and questions just because I can't read them all at once. 10 to 20 second delay, yellow camera means opportunity for a screenshot. Quick reminder of how to access recordings. Go into your main Teams page, more tab, special area, three, five videos. Then you may have to scroll a few pages to find the one you're looking for, but this is where you will see all the videos from all the special area teachers in all the buildings. Find the one you want and play. All right, today on Library Live, we'll take a quick look at what you're reading. Got a few more pictures sent to me this week. Uh, we'll find out who made it to the final on May Book Madness. We'll preview this week's Seesaw activity, which is going to help us get ready for summer reading. I'll give you a house points update because we are less than a week away for, from finding who wins the House Cup in the third marking period this year. Excuse me. We have a exclusive trailer reveal for Escape Night, which is this year's script to screen movie never before seen it's going to post today at 12 o'clock but you guys get a special preview today on library live first ones to see it we'll do our emoji challenge and then wrap it up with some ketchup let's start out with what you're reading you know the drill about 16 i think photos to go through today so it should be pretty quick and i'll try to use that time to catch up on the comments here we go thank you for sharing what you're reading always love seeing what you got Got some predictions for the mole. Hey, Danny, uh, I am not the mole. I was the genie. I was eliminated. I didn't sing. I did some good voices. That's why I chose that song. Hey, Arian, got some predictions. I'm not going to say who they are. Uh, good morning, Claire. Uh, I was in round two, I think. I was in round two. I was the genie. All right. Yes, some people already knew what penultimate means. Nice job. Uh, Mrs. Dowd saying good morning. Mrs. Dowd wants to know <laughs> if I want to go to her house and babysit her generator this weekend so she can go camping. No. Please and thank you, but no. Hey, Bella. Hey, Lauren. All right, folks, that's all the pictures we have for this week. So let's move it on to May Book Madness, our final four. We revealed last week. Let's find out who's going to make it to the championship. Diary of Wimpy Kid versus I Survive. Diary of a Wimpy Kid scores 83 to I Survive's 21. Not even close. And in our second matchup of Percy Jackson versus Dogman, I didn't expect this. 82 to 23. Percy Jackson not even in the conversation. I don't know what happened there. Not that I'm surprised Dogman won. I'm surprised it was that big of a blowout. That is definitely an upset. Hey, Zahasra. Hey, Jack. Hey, Dia. So here's our final matchup. Here is our championship match. It's Diary of a Wimpy Kid versus Dogman. You know the drill at this point. Vote by Tuesday, June 9th. Remember, Library Live next week is on Wednesday. So I need your votes by Tuesday. You got a shorter window to vote this week, so make sure you have your voice heard. Uh, the Seesaw activity will post at noon today. Don't have to complete the activity, just click the blue link. Uh, Alana, I do not like pizza, I love pizza. Hey Cece, hey Jordan, 
All right. This week's Seesaw activity that's going to post today, I, uh, maybe it already posted. I'm not sure. I don't remember when I set it up for. Uh, this week's Seesaw activity is all about completing a Flipgrid. And I know some of you have already used Flipgrids uh, with your classroom teachers. We're going to use Flipgrid this year as a way to share and keep in contact about what you're reading over the summer. Uh, we did this a couple of years ago. It was pretty popular then, so we're going to bring it back, uh, especially since now a lot more people have used Flipgrid and know how it works. So this week's Seesaw activity is kind of like a warm up or just a practice and just a fun way to share about our school year at KDM. Your Seesaw activity that posted or that we'll post today is called Favorite KDM Memory. Two easy directions. One, watch the video because everything you need to know how to do is in that video. I can't tell you how many emails and comments and questions I get asking me how to do something. And my first response is, well, did you watch the video? Because it's in there. And then when somebody says no, you know what my next response is? Well, then go watch the video. Everything you need to know is in, is in that short, you know, about six minute video or so. After you watch that video and get all those directions, click that blue link and it will take you to um, the grid. So I'll walk you through a brief version of what the directions are. When you click that link, it's going to take you to a screen that says Flipgrid, just read 2020. That's the title of the grid. And you have two options for logging in. You want to log in using Microsoft. Whoops, I go back there. Sorry about that. You want to log in using Microsoft because you see at the bottom it says join the grid using your school email. Your school email is through Microsoft, so make sure you choose that. After you put in your username and password, all those directions are in the video, you're going to see the Just Read 2020 grid. And you'll see the topic, favorite KDM memory, and Joy's hugging her favorite memory. So all I'd like you to do is scroll down and add a video that explains what your favorite memory from KDM is. Uh, you see my picture there, that's because I've already completed one. I already recorded my favorite memory. And if you log in today and start adding yours, you're going to see a lot more photos there too because other, other kids have already done this. Um, to add your response, just tap the green button with the white check mark in it. It says moderated, and all that means is that before your video gets posted to the grid, I watch it, I approve it, and then I post it. So when you complete your video, if you don't see it right away, nothing went wrong. It just means that I haven't approved it yet. So when you tap that plus sign, you're going to see a lot of things. First thing you'll see is a big picture of yourself. Um, you'll see some options here. You can add text, add filters, emojis, stickers, drawings, photos, things like that. And I go over all that in the directions in the video. Uh, but the most important thing here is the red camera icon. You tap that and you begin recording. You've got a timer up here that lets you know how much time you have left to record. I made this a 30 second um, limit. So not too long, not too short. We're doing this because you're going to use Flipgrid over the summer as a part of our summer reading program. And fifth graders, before you stop listening, because you know that you have a different reading program for middle school, um, you are more than welcome to participate in any of the stuff that we are doing for summer reading as well. Uh, so if you want to do some book talks over the summer, you're welcome to join in. Here's what you're going to look for when you get to the library website to do your um, summer reading this year. First, look for the Just Read logo. Tap it, and then you'll be taken to a screen that has a list of grade levels. You are going to select the grade level that you are going into. So if you are currently a third grader, you're going to choose fourth grade. If you're currently a fourth grader, you're going to choose fifth grade. If you're currently a fifth grader, you're still going to choose fifth grade. All right. Once you tap that, it's going to open up a Padlet. And I know some of you have already used Padlets already. It's just a way of organizing and collecting information. Um, so what you'll see here are a few things. The first column is summer reading info. That's mostly information for your parents, but you're welcome to read it too. The next column is how to log in. There's a lot of different resources here for you to use during your summer reading. Uh, libraries aren't completely open yet, so we want to make sure you have access to books. Um, we have links here that bring you to books, ebooks, audiobooks, and in case you forget how to log out or log in, rather, here is all that information. The next column is all about ebooks and audiobooks. Uh, you will have access to Sora over the summer, 
I know a lot of you use Sora for your book clubs over the past month or two. Um, those books that you read for your book clubs will still be available. You can check out books that other groups read for their book clubs and the librarians just put together an order for a bunch of new books that will be added to Sora soon if they're not already there. So there's more books coming than what's already been on Sora. You'll have access to Epic over the summer as well. Now Epic is going to be a little different after June 30th. Here's why. Epic is free for schools, so when you're at school, you can read Epic all you want. If you want to read Epic at home, technically your parents have to pay for a subscription. But because of the coronavirus, Epic made their at home feature free for everybody. But that free feature goes away on June 30th. So after June 30th, you will still have access to Epic, but after 4 o'clock p.m., you won't have access to it. So I think it's between the hours of 8 and 4, which is still pretty good for a free resource. Uh, below Epic, you see Tales to Go audiobooks. This is something new that the district brought, bought this year. Uh, so when you tap click here, you're going to be taken to a new grid. And that grid shows you all different audiobooks that you will be able to find on Tales to Go. Not just the not just audiobooks, uh, but series. So when we see the upside down magic cover here, you can kind of see if there's other books tucked in behind it. That's because there's more than one book audiobook available from that series on Tales to Go. So if you like listening to audiobooks like I do, uh, this is going to be awesome over the summer because there's tons and tons of series uh, that you can listen to on Tales to Go. Again, directions for how to access that are in the video. Sorry, not in the video, in the pathway. Next column over, we've got some library favorites like Pebble Go and World Book, things like that. And then finally, you've got Flipgrid. I think I actually changed the heading here to say Book Talks. Uh, Flipgrid works well on a computer. If you're on a computer, you should use Google Chrome or Firefox to access Flipgrid. If you're on a device, you need to download an app. All right, and there's links there to download the apps for Flipgrid. When you're ready to post, tap where it says click here, and you're going to be taken to the same grid, that Just Read 2020 grid. But this time, the topic says Summer Reads 4 to 5. You can see Hermione throwing a book at Harry Potter, telling him to read there. Really simple directions, share what you're reading this summer. At any point over the summer, you can add a book talk or just some pictures um, with you talking in the background and share with us what you're reading. Uh, there's nothing up there yet. This is just launching today. Um, but if you look at the topic bar, you can see that it says four topics and there's a down arrow. That's a drop down menu. And if you click that, you'll see Summer Reads 2-3, Summer Reads K-1. So if you have a picture book or a book that you want to recommend for younger kids, you could hop onto one of their grids and recommend a book to them there. Uh, you'll also, the fourth topic in there is favorite KDM memory. They're all on that same Just Read 2020 grid. I think that's all I have on Summer, re summer Reading for today. We'll talk a little more about, about it next week. I'm going to scroll down the comments, see if I missed anything or if there's any questions. Good morning, Yvonne. Good morning, Devonch. Uh, Emily said it has already posted. Thank you, Emily. Uh, Adish Riyadh asked about a flip code. Because I gave you the direct link, you shouldn't have to put in a code. If you do, send me a, uh, an email or message me on Teams. But you should just be able to get there directly by using the link. Uh, some folks saying, sorry, they got in late because of bad internet. No worries. We're all, uh, we're all dealing with some issues today. Uh, good, uh, happy birthday to you on June 30th, Emily. Uh, Harry Potter is available on Sora, I think, until July 1st, I think. JK Rowling made all the Harry Potter books available in ebooks. Um, I'm not, I think audiobooks too, uh, until I think July 1st. So I think you can find it there. All right, good morning, Mahita. All right, from there on, from there, let's go on to house points. Let's get an update going here. Uh, let's see, you can earn points for completing these four activities. Home in your pocket, Scrannels part two. What are you reading and research? One point 
for completing the activity. If you complete it 15 times, you don't get 15 points. Here are your updated points for this week, and it's Hufflepuff jumping out to a 13 point lead over Gryffindor. I'm not trying to call anybody out, but Gryffindor, you got to step it up. Come on, guys. You started out in the lead. Gryffindor has had the two um, lowest point totals for the past two weeks. And look at Ravenclaw and Slytherin. They've caught up a bunch. Slytherin, for the second week in a row, has scored the most points out of any other house. They were started down by almost 40. Now they're down by 18. Can they close the gap and win the House Cup in the last month, in the last week? It's possible. If anybody steps their game up this week, I expect it to be Slytherin. So we'll find out who wins the House Cup on Wednesday, June 10th, during our final library live. If you want to earn points, I need time to count those points up. So Tuesday, June 9th at 4 o'clock is the deadline. After that, I'm not counting any more points. Got to get there before that so I have time to count them up and get ready for um, Library Live the next day. Uh, Ron, please stop sending random things to me in the chat. It's very distracting. I appreciate it. Uh, next, Chathora asking, is the next class still at 11.30? Yes, same time, 11.30, just a different day. Uh, Sophia's got a birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday to you, Sophia. Rohan, good morning to you. Uh, Tia's got a birthday in July. That's a little bit of ways away, but happy birthday. All right, let's get, yes, it's pronounced rolling. All right, let's get into the moment that a lot of you are waiting for. I know a lot of fifth graders are waiting for our script to screen preview trailer. Um, I, let me back that up. Every year for a script to screen, we have an assembly at the end of the year for third graders, fourth graders, and fifth graders. That's at KDM in the morning. Then in the evening, we have an assembly at Great Valley High School in the auditorium for the cast, crew, their families, and really anybody who wants to come. Obviously, we can't do that this year. So our premiere is going to be a live premiere online. I actually sent all third, fourth, and fifth grade families an email letting them know about the live premiere on Monday, June 8th at 8 o'clock. So you, it'll be kind of like a library live session. It's on YouTube, but I'll get on first. I'll say a couple of words. We'll watch the movie. Say I'll say a couple of words at the end. Um, and then that'll be it. That'll be our script to screen premiere. You are all invited to watch that. I'm going to post a couple links in the chat here as soon as I start playing the trailer. The first will be the link to the trailer. The second thing I post will be the link to the live event. If you go there now, you're not going to see anything other than a script to screen logo. Uh, but that's the page that you will go to on Monday, June 8th at 7 o'clock if you want to watch the premiere with us. All right. Are you ready for the script to screen trailer for our movie Escape Night? I imagine you're all saying yes. Here it is. Enjoy. Yeah, all right, what'd you think? Looks good, right? If you thought the trailer looks good, wait till you see the actual movie. Um, script to screen premieres again on Monday, June 8th at seven o'clock. I just posted the link to the trailer that we just watched and the link to the uh, live premiere in the comments. It was also sent to your parents on 
uh, through email so you could check in with them as well. I'm really excited uh, to premiere our movie that we made way back in the fall. Let me say a quick thing about this. Third graders, fourth graders, I think you're gonna enjoy it. Fourth graders, you get to be a part of Script to Screen next year. Uh, so I definitely want you to be there. Third graders, that's gonna be you there in a couple years. I want you to be there. But fifth graders especially. When we made this movie back in the fall, I knew what message we wanted to send with it. I knew what I wanted people to think about when they saw it. Um, but the whole meaning and message of this movie has been amplified due to our current situation of not being able to close out the school year the way we wanted to. Um, this script to screen movie is not just a movie for the cast, crew, and their families. This is a movie for the entire fifth grade class. So I would love nothing more than to see all of the fifth graders in attendance for our live premiere on Friday. Whether you were part of script to screen in any way or not, I want you to be there. This is a movie for the fifth graders at Katie Marketing this year. I've said that a couple of times. I've emailed that the fifth graders who are watching, I need you to help spread the word. Fourth and third graders, you help spread the word too. I want to see every fifth grader at that uh, at that movie premiere because this is a movie for you guys. Help spread the word. Let's get the entire class watching. All right, I'm done. I'm done being sentimental now, for now. Um, now for something completely different. Emoji challenge. We started our emoji challenge um, last week. The way this works is we reveal a series of emojis. You have to try and guess what book that emoji represents. Um, Sean was the first one to send me the pizza emoji. Don't try to do that yet. I'm not taking pizza emojis this week. It's going to be a different one. And then reveal these series of emojis, which is a reference to James and the giant peach. So in a moment, I'm going to give you the a type of emoji. First one to find that emoji and send it to me in the comments gets to choose one, two, three, five, or six for the next one we do. All right, let's see. Uh, given the storm that we had on Wednesday and what a lot of people are experiencing right now, I would like you to send me a lightning bolt emoji. It can be the lightning bolt that's all on its own with the rain cloud or with just the cloud. I want a lightning bolt emoji. First one to send me that in the, in the chat gets to choose one, two, three, five, or six. Hey, Nico, happy birthday to Jonathan in July. I'm disappointed about the spring session too, Jonathan. I really wish we got to have that. Uh, let's see. Uh, Sophia asking, what was the other script to screen movie going to be about? Um, I can, we can talk about that a little bit during catch up. Put a pin in that and we'll come back to it. A lot of positive things for the, um, for the trailer. Thank you, thank you. All right, Natalie, you were the first one to jump in with that lightning bolt emoji. So Natalie, go ahead and choose a number one, two, three, five or six. And that's the emoji challenge we'll start with. Uh, Mejita, Danny, Arian, Varshita and Jolie, you were really close as well. Claire, you were right in there. Ryan, Michelle, Chathura, Zoe, Jordan. Ronnie, who we are all close. All right, let me see. Now, even if you didn't have access to emojis on your keypad for this, you'll still be able to participate in the um, in the guessing. So you could stop sending me light. You could stop sending me lightning bolts. Let's see, Natalie, Natalie chooses number five. There it is, send me your guesses. This, is, this one's not a race, just send me your guess when you have it. Uh, Beezer asks, what is the script to screen movie based on? This is actually our first ever original script to screen movie, not based on any other movie. Um, it's a completely original story. You can't just type the words lightning bolt emoji. <laughs> All right, start sending me those guesses. This one's not a race. I'll let you know if you got it correct when you send me your comments. And then once I get a few of them in, I'll let you know what the answer was. Uh, Jillian got it correct. Beezer, you're correct as well. Shant's got it. Ronnie's got it. Rohan's got it. 
Siri, Sahasra, Nandana, you all got it correct? Jonathan, you got it? Connor, Ryan, Arshita, Neil, Lucas, Anjali, Natalie, Sophia, Aryan, Kendall, Rohan, Will. I should have made this one harder. Juliana, Varshita, Caleb, Mahita. I think I'm saying some of your names twice. Drew, Jack, Aditri. All right, uh, Sadie's got it. Um, let's see here. Varshita, I said. Aryan's got it. Dia's got it. Silas, Bella. Andrew, Enrique's got it, Jolie's got it. All right, folks, the answer to this week's emoji challenge is Charlotte's Web, classic tale. Great book, and if you've ever seen the animated movie, the, anim the animated movie's pretty good too. It's a musical. Um, you got the little girl, that's Fern, Wilbur the pig, Charlotte, who spells words out in her web to keep Wilbur from getting turned into bacon. Uh, Templeton the rat is very helpful, especially at, well, he's helpful at one point in the story, and that's during the fair where uh, Wilbur wins a prize, uh, where he doesn't win a prize, but he becomes the um, kind of the star of the show there. All right, folks, thank you for participating in the Emoji Challenge. We'll save some of those for um, our Library Live on Wednesday. But for now, it is time to do some catch up. Got any questions? Uh, got any comments for me about script to screen, summer reading, Flipgrid? Send me those in the comments and I'll respond to those. Um, Sophia asked earlier, what was the other script to screen movie going to be based on? Uh, it was going to be based on a movie called The Breakfast Club, which is about a which is about a group of high schoolers who have to come to the library to serve a Saturday detention. Uh, in our movie, it was going to be called The Recess Club, which is about a bunch of kids who get held in for indoor recess. Not indoor recess, they get held in for recess. So that was going to be our spring production, but obviously with everything that happened, didn't get to have it. Uh, let's see, scroll back, see if there's anything I missed. Uh, Brooke asking 7 a.m. or 7 p.m. for the premiere. P.m., please don't make me get up that early. It's one thing I'm okay with during this quarantine is not having to wake up quite as early to get ready for class. Uh, the well, the script to screen premieres at seven o'clock. The board meeting starts at seven thirty. Um, so we should finish up. I think we'll finish up by about seven forty-five. So shouldn't miss too much of the board meeting because I do want to watch that as well. Uh, Matt saying he's seen that movie. Which movie? The Breakfast Club? Yeah, I, I was pretty happy with that idea. It had some twists and turns in there, so it wouldn't have been exactly like The Breakfast Club. Uh, would I rather eat a donut or a slice of cake? I will go for a donut. Uh, Rhea recommending Pokemon Sun and Moon. Jolie, my favorite color is navy blue, like Penn State blue. Uh, my favorite athlete? That's a good question. Even though I'm a football fan, football is by far my favorite sport. I think my favorite athlete of all time is Michael Jordan. I grew up in the 90s, late 80s, early 90s, when Jordan was at his best. So I grew up a Michael Jordan fan, big Michael Jordan fan. Uh, Dishri recommending the masterpiece for a good read. Uh, Julia is pulling her tooth out. I don't recommend that. A lot of folks excited for the script and screen premiere. Some folks excited for their pool opening. Um, Anjali recommending Secret Garden. Uh, Varshita asking for Harry Potter. When we go on Sora, are we allowed to borrow the book? Yeah, I think the Harry Potters are, are free checkouts, meaning unlimited. All right, uh, it is 12 o'clock, so let me jump quick to our reviews and reminders. House Cup points, got to earn those by Tuesday the 9th if you want credit for them. May Book Madness, vote for the final round. That link should be posted now in Seesaw to get you to Kahoot. Uh, favorite KDM memory, Flipgrid. You could even start on the Book Talks, um, the Summer Reads Flipgrid, if you want to start on those, because that's live too. Script to screen premiere, Monday, June 8th, 7 o'clock. 
Hope to see you all great, all there, fifth graders, especially you. That's it for today, everybody. Remember, I will see you on June 10th at 1130. I'm not done with you yet. I get you for one more, one more half hour. That's not enough, but I'll take it. All right. If you've got to jump off here and get some lunch before getting ready for your afternoon classes, I'm going to say goodbye to you now. Glad you came here today. Thank you for coming here today. I miss you. I'll see you for the next and last library live of the school year. See you guys. I do that awkward pause so I can cut the video. <laughs>